Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial on this brown smoky eye with a pop of blue in the inner corner. I use the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette. Let's go ahead and get started with the skin. I'm priming slash moisturizing my skin with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And then for foundation, I mixed the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I'm using the Sigma F80 brush to blend that out. Next, I'm color correcting my dark circles and around my mouth with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Medium Peach. I'm using the Morphe E8 brush to blend out the concealer. And then to highlight the center of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand. And then I'm also using that same concealer to prep my eyelids for eyeshadow. To set the foundation and concealer in place, I'm using the number no. 7 translucent loose setting powder and I'm using the Morphe E3 pointed powder brush. And just in case there's any fallout from the eyeshadow, I am baking underneath my eyes with that loose setting powder. Moving on to the eyes, I'm starting off with the shade Coco Taxi from the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe eyeshadow palette and I'm using this shade as a transition for the other eyeshadows. So I'm slowly building up that shade into the crease using the Morphe E28 brush. Next I'm taking the shade Guantanamera right into the crease using a Real Techniques tapered shadow brush. I packed this shade onto the outer corner of the eye and then blended it into the crease and I'm really building up this shade because I do want it to be quite intense. And then with whatever is left on the E28 brush, I'm blending the edges of the eyeshadow just to make sure everything is really blended. Next, I'm packing on the shades Guantanamera and Cafecito. I mix these two shades together and pack them right onto the lid. And this is a Sigma E55 eye shading brush. Using the Real Techniques tapered shadow brush, I'm just blending around the edges. For the lower lash line, I took the shade Guantanamera on a Sigma pencil brush and I just ran that along the lower lash line. And then with a Real Techniques base shadow brush, I took the shade Coco Taxi to blend the lower lash line. For the inner corner, I took the shades El Malecon and Celia and popped those right onto the inner corner, kind of going back and forth between both shades. I did blend a tiny bit of the inner corner shade onto the very inner corner of the lid. And for the lower lash line, I took a little more of the shade Guantanamera onto the pencil brush and I just used that shade to further blend together the inner corner with the lower lash line. Before adding falsies, I did add some L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. These are the Baddington Lashes in the style Monroe. I'm also tight lining with the Milani eyeliner in the shade Black is Black and I'm lining my lower waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Torch. For bronzer, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer with a Real Techniques Multitasking Face Brush. For blush, I'm mixing these two shades from the e.l.f. blush palette. One is a kind of peachy shade and the other is more of a pinky peachy shade. So I'm just using the same brush that I use for bronzer. And then I'm spritzing my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray before I go in with highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter and I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush. And I forgot to mention that I did already fill in my brows with the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Brownie Brows. Finally for lips, I used the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. And then I went over that with the ColourPop Kathleen Light's Moonchild Ultra Glossy Lip. And that completes this look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what looks you'd like to see next and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!